And good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Good Things Utah. It is a Tuesday, September 22nd. It is also the first day of fall. All right, coming up next, you're going to meet Utah's, the nation's, and the world's chess prodigy. We'll be right back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Carlene, he beat you. We are lucky enough today on Good Things Utah to have the number one plus chess player in Utah, the nation, and the world for his age group, 11-year-old Caden Trofe. Glad you're here, Caden. Hi. All right, so you're 11. You started when you were three. Tell us how you started playing chess. Um, uh, when I was three, I just used to sit on my dad's lap. And I thought it was pretty cool because, I mean, I just sat there and watched. You have big brothers too, right? Yeah. And they, my dad um, wanted to play them because he didn't really have any to play. So he just played my brothers and I just was watching. And I, I don't remember like, at all, but my mom said one day I just asked to play a game. So I just sat and played a game. And you've been playing ever since? Yeah. How often do you practice? Um, I practice, let me see, I wake up in the morning, then I run with my dad, and then I do about two hours of chess, and then I do school thing, or I do my school. That little school thing. That school thing. Mm -hmm. Gets yeah. in the way sometimes. And then after school, you're playing? Yeah, then after school I do another two hours, and then getting kind of at night, I do some more. And you're on a computer, right? Playing people? Yeah, most of the time I'm on the computer. Okay, how tough is this game for people like me that don't know how to play? Um, it takes a lot of work, because I mean, you have to work a lot on it mentally. And most, my brothers, or at least one of them says it's not at all physically. We argue a lot about sport, that it's a sport and not, but. I, I want to know what their sport. reaction was when you're this young kid and you start beating your brothers and your dad. When did they know you were kind of a big deal? Um, yeah, I think it was, we didn't start playing in tournaments until <clears throat> I think I was six. And then that's when we kind of started getting more serious about it. And you're really fast with your quick rating, okay? So that's when yeah. they're doing the really fast chest with a timer. You're the fastest in the world at your age group. How, how does that work? Like, well, how, how do you... That, um, I don't think they, I'm not sure, I don't think they have a world rating for um, speed chess. Um, but they mostly have a national rating. And yeah, on the national rating, they, uh, yeah, I'm in the top four under 13. All right, so Caden, if I moved something here, tell me if I'm doing it right and what you would do next. You can can't I move that Can first. I move that guy? No, okay, so if I move this guy. Uh, a lot of time I like to push my queen pawn, but mostly why would go first, but. All right, now what Now what next? Can I? Um, after this, I'd probably go here, then you move, because like. And here. then, so let's let's do what he does. Let's go over there. Usually I like bringing my bishop back here. Uh-oh, because Should I bring my bishop out there? Uh, um, you can't, can't, because you oh. didn't move this guy. <laughs> here, let's move this guy, okay. Do that thing where you hop a lot and then take something. Um, Nisha, this is not checkers. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's one of those oh. games mentally you have to think forward. How do you yeah. practice that? Um, that uh, we started doing that. We just got a program where you can't see the pieces at all, and you're playing against the computer, and you just have to try and play the best you can. And sometimes we just play against each other, and we have a palm pilot and a board, and you'd make a move. So it's like I can see the pieces, and I'd move here, he'd move here, and let's say if you were to do something like this, mm -hmm. and the other person says that's you can't do that move, then you lose. And we really? practiced a lot of that. So your next thing, are you going to Mazatlan? Yeah. What's that for? Um, that is the North American Championship. Um, they. They take like all the countries from North America. They, I think, Mexico, the Bahamas, United States, and Canada. And so I was chosen for United to represent United States. Good for you. Oh. How's it feel when people swarm you? Because they get they get they get mm -hmm. freaky over Caden because he's so good. When you go to these chess, um, do you sign matches? autographs sometimes? I uh, not much, but yeah, I've done it. He's sometimes. humble. Okay, uh, you also have a camp. Your family has a camp, right? A chess camp? Uh, yeah. Um, 
our dad works a lot on that. He does the lessons and and prepares it, and we work with the kids, and that, we usually have a lot of fun with that. So if you want your kid to be just like Caden, you can go to this camp. We'll put the information on our website. 11-year-old Caden Trope, so happy you were here. Will you let us know how you do in Ma Mazatlan? Uh, sure. Okay, good luck. Okay, if I do this, what are you going to do? And I'm going to challenge your move. Okay. And you lose. <laughs> and you lose. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Wood floors for the good.